Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. This is Solomon Adams. I haven't given a full anime review in a while. Um, but here it goes. Oh, this is my this is my review of one of, on a new anime I've been watching for a while. Tokyo Raven. Like basically, I've been yeah, you know, I just spent the last week like cultivating, like backseating and marathoning this whole show. Uh, I know it's in, it sounds stingy taking a week in the series. Does it have does it have like a hundred episodes or nothing like that? It's just. I I'm just been what you call a little bit preoccupied and and out, out of base, but I'll explain. I'll get to the point. The main story itself is about how two people, uh, uh, Harutora and Asuje Hoshimikado, like basically, they, they come from a, uh, from a very distinct bloodline, and right, that's been passed on for centuries. Apparently, hey, this bloodline has something, has something to do with something called Amio Mages. They're basically a type of sorcerer, magician, and kind of exorcist, if you could say that. In their world, uh, you know, uh, even though it's modern uh, and they ha and they live in modern times, there are times where spiritual disasters occur or from time to time, and it could be very serious. And they and and therefore they call in like the exorcists. Like the exorcists are the ones that handle stuff like that. And basically, it's a well colluded theory. You know, like if things get very dicey, you know who to call. Uh, and it's a very practical series with action, drama. Uh, but I'll get more to the point. The thing is, the series itself on these two main protagonists is it's just that hey, apparently, even though they're part of the same kind of family, but the one, but they're different. For example, oh, they're from the, one of them is from the branch family, and the other one's from the main households. So they, uh, and apparently, they made a promise long ago, oh, that they would be together one day, and sh and one of them promised to be the other one's familiar. Like familiar is kind of like a magical serpent. As someone who's loyal to the person who they're bonded to. I've seen this before. And I've seen this before. I, 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 was, I gotta admit, the series is kind of divergent. You know, it takes like magic and that we know uh, and brings up a little so, something old and something new. That's one of the things I kind of like about the series in a way. Hey, I'm trying to. I hope there's a season two of this, but let me get straight to the point. Hey, the series itself oh, is very hey, prudent. Like, for example, in the beginning, you don't get much action, but this, over time, the story starts to pick up and change direction right away. It's the kind of series you want to root for, you want to see more, and you hope for a le second, second season. But I'm not going to spoil any stuff for you. Oh, no. But there are some secrets. For example, oh, no, Harutor, or, uh, has a friend named Tenji. He, he has special abilities, too. Well, those abilities, not going to say anything because I'm not going to spoil it for you. The series itself, of a Dice's Magic. Particularly drama, a bit of romance, names, perception, and change of feel in a sort of way. Like, because hey, hey, the because uh, Harutora is a man and, and, and Asume is a woman. Oh, man, but you, you gotta understand the series itself. You know, it changes itself with all the protagonists. Like they have to make sure to keep things secretive. Like that people in that world they have strong magic, and whoever becomes strong becomes an army mage and basically an exorcist. Like, basically, they get to become some of the strongest people. However, there's, like, an order to things. You have to train a lot. Uh, and you got have to do understand how things work. Basically, they have to go to a school oh, to, to learn. I mean, you know, made to become magic. How to learn. Kind of like, oh, Harry Potter and, and went to Hogwarts to learn to become a wizard and stuff like that. It's like that, but something else. Yeah, but not completely the same as Harry Potter. For example, it's in Japan. I mean, this like takes that and and has its own feel to it. Yeah, I gotta admit this series is enticing. I've I've been around magical series before that involves magic, next before and I man I really like this series itself. The thing is the projection is the thing is about the series is it it has it has magic but it also but it also sidesteps that sometimes. Uh, but you know that it has magic, but the main feel of the story is trying to focus on these two characters. Even though Harutoro was the first, Harutoro is mostly he, the main protagonist, but he's not alone. Even though, but he's not alone. It tries to focus on the relationship between Harutoro and Asume, their relationship, but they have to keep everything they know a secret. And because people are watching them, seeing they have strong power, but, but sometimes Harutoro can be very dense sometimes. Sometimes he doesn't notice the obvious, and there are lots of secrets in this series. There's various secrets that people know and don't know, and they don't want to find out. Uh, like, for example, there are certain secrets, if revealed to the world, it could be very bad. Uh, they 
and I'll, as such, I had to leave you looking over your shoulder to find out who to trust and who to not trust. Uh, and, and but that, but it but it comes and goes. I have I gotta tell you, I haven't seen a fun series like this and that has so much projection since I saw Blue Exorcist, and that and that has one of the best voice actors of time. For example, Brian Payne. And Paige, who you know plays Renal Kumara and Johnny Ambosh uh, as you uh, as Yukio, but the series itself is, but it's ve- it's the same but little, but vaguely different in, in a lot of ways. Hey, but the series does have a nice feel to it. Yeah, it takes things slow, introduces you the characters one one at a time, but it slowly picks up and becomes more epic over the time that you spend watching it. Like this is the, like it's the kind of series you, you think you probably. Think that nothing interesting is gonna come, but it slowly over time starts to get you in its hooks. And so basically, that's what they basically it's good, uh, definitely good. Now, I gotta tell you, like I really hope for a second season, and this series just became licensed by by Funimation this year. Uh, like apparently it came out on like early early like early ja- July, June, uh, no 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 early January and February they licensed it. And right now they just released the second season. I mean, and and the whole thing is just twenty four episodes, literally twenty four. Well, and I got and I don't I don't normally watch, I'm not, I'm not I normally watch anime, and I like animes with you know some feel and some nice story to it. And this one has a nice story, you know, magic, drama, romance, suspense, changing, changing like you you know the bad guys this way, you know the good guys are that way, and and you so, something new is coming, you don't know who to trust. Uh, that's one of the things I like about the series, the suspense, the drama, and the emotion. I'm going to put the link down in the description. Therefore, I think, if you, if you, uh, if you have time on your hands and you want to watch something about a match, about a people, you know, uh, if you want, if you want to watch uh, an anime about two people who, 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 who are in, in a world of magic and, and try to understand each other, even though times where they, even though there are times where they don't see eye to eye and slowly over time become closer and, and try to survive in a world uh, where people, who oh, are magic does and magic and people does exist, but things could get turned upside down um, at any moment. This is the type of series I recommend you watch. Uh, and trust me, if, if you watch from beginning to end, I don't know if you're gonna be completely satisfied, but def- trust me, it leaves you wanting more. It leaves you wanting to see more. Anyway, that's all I gotta say about the series. If, if any other series I recommend you watch, I mentioned before Blue Exorcist. I know Ho- Ho- Exorcist, also known. I'm reading the manga. Uh, I've asked the entire series. There's the Blue Exorcist, the movie, and then there's and then there's also uh, also uh, Full Metal Alchemist, uh, Alchemist Brotherhood. Uh, you can't forget that. There's always Inuyasha. Uh, that's one of the longest anime series about magic and 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 so and fighting and everything that I know of. Over a hundred, over a hundred and ninety episodes. If you include if you include Inuyasha in the final act, and, and then finally one of my other favorites, Shakugan no Shana. Uh, or Shine of the Burning Eyes. That series is definitely one of my best. Also owned by Funimation. I recommend those series to watch if you have have the time. If you have watched them, you guys. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed. That's that's uh, subscribe. Thank you. This is Solomon. This has been my review on Tokyo Ghoul. Well, because I'm an idiot. On Tokyo Raven. Amen. I hope you enjoyed. That's why the comment. Thank you. Magic, action, drama, romance. What more could you want? And suspense. See you soon. Maybe you want more. Bye.